Hello, welcome back. This video is about Leaflet GS. It's an open source alternative of Google Maps. We will add this map to real estate website. We will see how to show the position of an apartment on mouse over. We will add markers of apartment positions to the map. We will add pop up to each marker that contain information and picture of the outside of the apartment. We will add also a label for the rent amount. On website leafletgs.com, click on tutorials. You will find many examples. Click on the first one. Let's start the project. We will create three files, HTML, CSS, and GS. We will add a link to leaflet CSS to our HTML file. And we will add a link to our CSS file. We will add a link to leaflet GS file. First, we will add h1 title apartment. Next, we will create a div container. It contains two divs, the first for the apartments and the second for the map. We will add the id map id to the div map. Inside the div apartment, we will create six divs for six apartments. We will give an ID to each div. Each div contains an image and title and the amount of the rent. In CSS file, we will redesign the page. We will set the margin and the padding of the body zero. We will move the title to the center of the page. We will use display grid to divide the container to two columns. We will set grid gap 20 pixels. or 10 and uh, padding 20 pixels. In HTML file, we will add a link to the GS file. We will copy the code that create a map in the center of London. We will copy the code that add a tile layer to the map. It didn't work. In the CSS file, we will set the width of the map 100% and the height 400 pixels. To solve this problem, click on see this example stand alone. On page of the example, click on view page source. And copy the code of the script. Now it works. Before manipulating the map, we will finish the design of the page. In CSS file, we will use display grid to divide div apartments to three columns.
we will set grid gap 10 pixels padding 10 pixels and a light background color we will make the images responsive we will change the style of the image on H over we will set the opacity 0 0.5 We will move the amount of the rent to the right. On the example, click on OpenStreetMap. On search box, enter the value of the city of your choice. We will use OpenStreetMap to get coordinates of position of a city. I picked Paris. Click on cursor on the right bottom of the page. Use the right click of the mouse to show address. Copy coordinates of the city. On GS file, change the coordinates of the variable MyMap. Now I have the map of Paris. If you wonder what's for this number, it's the scale of the zoom. A higher number will zoom in and a lower number zoom out. We will create a list for coordinates of positions of our apartments. We have six apartments, so we need six coordinates. I will pick six random positions. We have the six coordinates. It's time to add markers to the positions of apartments. We'll create a variable L for the array length. We will use for loop to add a marker to each position. We will create a variable marker equal capital L dot marker between parentheses the coordinate of the apartment dot add to my map now we have a marker for the position of each apartment next we will add a label for the amount of the rent inside for loop we will create a variable for the label tooltip equal to l dot tooltip Tooltip can took as an argument a JavaScript object. We will set the property permanent true. So when we click on map, the label didn't hide. There are another properties you can find it in leaflet GS documentation. Dot set continent add a text to tooltip. We will use marker dot bind tooltip to add the label to each marker we have added labels to markers next we will add a pop-up that will show when we click on a marker inside for loop we will create a new variable pop-up L dot pop up and we will set the property 
close on click true set continent allow us to add text or html code to pop up the code of pop up should be before the code of the marker we will bind pop up to the marker It didn't work, it's uh, two point and not equals. Now when we click on a marker, a text shows. We want to add area and number of rooms to the pop-up. We will add an image of the outside of the apartment. We need an array for areas and array for number of rooms and array for links of images we will change set content of uh, pop-up we will write an html code we will use h for element to show information about area and the number of rooms Now when we click on a marker, we get the number of rooms and the area of an apartment. Now we will add an image for the outside. We will set the height of the image 100 pixels. It didn't work because I forgot a space before style. This is how to add an image to pop up. Last thing, we will zoom and move to the position of an apartment when the mouse is on the image of an apartment. We will use Query Selector to select the element of each apartment. We will create an array apart. Inside the for loop, we will add an event listener to each variable. On mouse over, we will use the method fly to coordinates of apartment and zoom. We will set the zoom 15 to zoom in or 16. This is an example for what we can do with leaflet. You can find other options in documentation. This is the end of this video. Take care.